WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, happy Friday to everyone. This happens to be the mid-afternoon update for TFNN. Larry Pesavento reporting. Uh, we started the markets, uh, stock indices relatively strong throughout the night. And then later in the morning, they started to sell off as reports came in on some type of a report that I'm embarrassed to say. I don't know what it was. I was watching the grain reports for today, so I, I'm not even sure. All I know is it it, it must have pushed the market down, and we have the stock indices all lower. We've got gold uh, lower, silver lower, crude oil lower. Uh, we've got corn and wheat are up slightly. Uh, beans are down a little bit. So there's a, a bifurcated market, as Basil Chapman would uh, tell us here. But the fact is that the uh, Treasury notes and Treasury bonds are also uh, down on the day, are telling us that there is a – a place where we're having a risk off right now. Now, whether that means anything or not, I don't know. But we had some important Fibonacci numbers. For those of you that like Fibonacci numbers, I'll be covering that uh, uh, when we come back from our break here, especially the NASDAQ, because it uh, hit an exact number going back about nine months ago. And I, well, it's it's amazing how some of these things work. They don't work all the time, but when they do work, you know, they work, uh, you know, quite well. So there's going to be a lot of volatility coming, folks. There's no question about it. Inflation is not over yet, and neither is the thing with the banks. Uh, the second half of the show today, I want to go over some of the banks and show you how bad some of these banks, I mean serious banks, that are really don't look very good. And would you listen to what Jamie Dimon said uh, yesterday in the interview with Bloomberg? She asked him, where would you put your money? And you know what his answer was? In a central bank safety box or something like that. He said, put my money in with the, same, with the central bank. So that means short-term bills and certainly not gold because gold is uh, sold off quite a bit, as has silver. Silver said hit a magical number today, folks, and we'll be talking about when we uh, come back at the next part of the show here, we're going to spend most of the morning uh, talking about uh, commodities. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do some uh, stocks and bank stuff in the second half hour, the second hour of the show day. So we'll take a little break. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. We'll be right back. 